Who was the real 2003-2004 NBA Rookie of the Year? The 2003 NBA Draft showcased some of the best talented prospects the league has ever seen, which featured future Hall of Famers in LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. These players early on took the NBA by storm by elevating their initial franchises from low-level type play to NBA prosperity. They went on to play in a myriad of all-star games together, while also competing in the Summer Olympics multiple times for the gold medal. Some of them even managed to have championship success. But in this video, I want to focus on the year that started it all, the 03-04 NBA season. Going into that season, the Cavaliers' first overall selected small forward, LeBron James, garnered up probably the most hype a rookie has ever received, especially fresh out of his senior year of high school. Most of the media and fans quickly proclaimed King James the Chosen One. In his national televised NBA debut against the Sacramento Kings, LeBron James racked up an impressive 25 points to go along with his 9 assists, 6 rebounds, and 4 steals. James continued to produce these type of stats for the rest of his rookie campaign, and was capped off by the much expected Rookie of the Year award, which makes sense considering he actually lived up to the colossal amount of hype that was focused on him. But was there another player that could have been tagged the NBA's best rookie of 04? I believe there was, and that's why I'm going to argue why Carmelo Anthony could have been named the 2004 NBA Rookie of the Year. Fresh off a stellar win in the NCAA National Championship, Carmelo Anthony was selected by the Denver Nuggets with the third overall pick. The Nuggets knew that they were getting an elite level scorer and overall talented player in Anthony. They were hoping he can lead them to become a playoff type squad once again. And he did just that by finishing the season as Denver's leading scorer and leader of minutes played. The Nuggets concluded their season with a record of 43 wins and 39 losses, placing them 8th in the West which meant Denver had returned to the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Now when you compare Melo's stats to LeBron's stats, you can see that they were very similar to one another, especially in the points per game department. They are basically identical with James averaging 20.9 points per game and Anthony's slight edge with 21 points per game. Carmelo also grabbed more rebounds per game with 6.1 over LeBron's 5.5, but James did dish out more assists per game with 5.9 per game, substantially more than Anthony's 2.8 per game. But ultimately what gave Carmelo the edge over LeBron was his team's success. In the previous 02-03 NBA season, the Nuggets finished the year with an abysmal record of 17 wins and 64 losses and placed last in the West. The Cavs had basically the exact same season, ending also with only 17 wins and 64 losses, placing last in the East. Now fast forwarding to the conclusion of next season, you can see that the Nuggets wound up with a spectacular 26 win improvement over their previous year's record, and also making a berth to the Western Conference playoffs. While the Cavs also greatly improved their win total record from 17 wins to 35 wins, it wasn't enough to make a playoff appearance in the East. When it came down to the voters to pick their Rookie of the Year recipient, they selected LeBron James with 78 first place votes over Carmelo Anthony's 40 votes. As you can tell by the voting, LeBron won by a clear margin. But in my opinion, I think it should have been a much closer race than it was. Maybe even with Melo taking home the trophy. Now obviously when it's all said and done, LeBron will end up with a better career. But the Rookie of the Year award probably should have went to Carmelo Anthony. Now I want to know who you think should have won the Rookie of the Year. Did LeBron deserve the award, or did Carmelo Anthony get snubbed? 